When a man that seems to have everything going right for him, hardworking, charming, athletic, and considered handsome, his own clothing company goes missing. It doesn't take long to realize it allegedly has everything to do with the sick, twisted mind of a girlfriend, proving it's a thin line between love, jealousy, and hate. She is still on the run. Help me and share this post as I shine light on the atrocities of womankind. Welcome to Crimes Among Us. Six foot four, David Carter, living in Melvindale, Michigan. Sight for sore eyes to the ladies, becomes a father. His namesake, David Carter Jr. David and the mother to his only son, Samaya, would be together off and on from 2000 to 2014. However, in March of 2018, he sets his sights on an old high school acquaintance. During a party at a mutual friend's house, this rekindled friendship became much more than platonic. Tamara or Tammy worked for Detroit Medical Center as a travel agent. She had two children of her own, twins, from a previous relationship. David seemed happy, but from the outside looking in, their relationship was filled with one-sided jealousy and obsessive behaviors. David's father noticed during a family gathering, she would watch David from afar, never ungluing her eyes. September 2018, as David goes to the movies with one of his female cousins, they decide to take her car and they leave David's at his apartment. When they returned, all four of David's tires were slashed, revealing someone's internal demons just waiting to surface. September the 28th, David and Tamara attend DJ's David Jr.'s football game. It was visibly apparent that something was wrong. They did not sit next to each other. They did not even seem to communicate. David was in good spirits laughing and talking with family. Samaya says they were throwing popcorn and having a good time. As she gazes around the stands, she locks eyes with Tammy. She was staring directly in her face. She describes the look as staring back at the devil. Perhaps they had broken it off, but with six months of obsessive behavior, could Tammy really let this man go? September the 30th, two days after the football game, DJ prepares to go and visit his father. Samaya, DJ's mother, receives a supposed text from David saying he does not feel good and DJ does not need to stop by. DJ texts his father and is told the same thing. However, he needed to pick up some things from his dad's apartment and he goes anyway. When he pulls up, he notices that Tammy is taking out the trash. DJ reports soon as Tammy sees him, she runs to the apartment door. When he gets to the door, it's locked. He doesn't understand why it's locked when she just saw him, but he has a key. Tammy then approaches DJ, what's going on? He tells Tammy he's just there to pick up some items as he notices that his door is closed. Tammy then closes the bathroom door. DJ told Tammy he wanted to speak to his father. But Tammy then tells DJ that his father is out on a walk. He finds it strange that his father is out on a walk despite being sick and it was cold outside, but he leaves anyway. David is a no-call, no-show for three days in a row at work. Out of his characteristic, a concerned co-worker calls his sister. She calls Tammy and Tammy says she hasn't talked to him since Sunday. His sister and her husband, Tasia, head to his apartment. They find that the door is unlocked. Samaya and his dad also join them at his apartment. His bed was not made. His sheets were balled up. No way he leaves his apartment like this. He was a neat freak. Something was wrong. Tasia notices a huge red stain on the floor. It was as if the bed had been placed over it. The indentions on the carpet reveal the bed had been moved. Samaya, moving the comforter, sees what appears to be blood on the mattress and a hole. 
His father notices another hole on the bottom left corner of the closet door. He knew from being a soldier it was a bullet hole and he orders everyone out of the apartment. They file a missing persons report. The police suspect foul play. They form a search party but Tammy does not attend. Instead, she goes to work as if everything was normal. October the 1st, the Ohio Department of Transportation discover a sleeping bag off I-75. And what they find inside is shocking to say the least. A dismembered lower half of a body with a distinctive tattoo on the upper leg, a pit bull with red eyes. October the 3rd, the chief of police calls David's father to meet with him and identify the body. The tattoo belongs to David. And on October 5th, Tammy is arrested in connection with the brutal death of David, but without enough evidence to hold her at the time and no complete body, she is released within 72 hours. October 10th, on I-75, a black duffel bag is found, this time with David's head wrapped in a grocery bag, a gunshot wound behind the earlobe, close range, almost near contact. October the 16th, a suitcase is found, containing David's upper torso, two arms, and two hands. With no evidence of defensive wounds, David may have been killed in his sleep. A antihistamine would be found in his bloodstream. A antihistamine causes sleepiness. The cuts made on his body were consistent of those made with a kitchen knife, indicating this took some time to do. But how else could a woman move a six foot four frame without dismembering it first. Time goes by, another arrest is not made. January of 2019, they learned that Tammy, the alleged murderer, has fled Michigan. She has been gone since October. U.S. Marshals are on the hunt due to her plan and calculated first degree homicide and tampering with evidence. Without the retrieval of her weapon, U.S. Marshals say she should be considered armed and dangerous. Tammy was seen in Ann Arbor, Michigan, staying at hotels, eating at restaurants, just using her normal card. October the 17th, she heads to the train station and takes a ride to Chicago, then to New York. On October the 18th, she is seen leaving the Neptune Hotel and then she vanishes. U.S. Marshals report they believe her family is helping her financially, an accusation that they deny. The U.S. Marshals are reportedly offering a $10,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest of Tamara Williams. This family needs justice. David deserves to have this murderer captured. And his sister Tasia, well, she won't stop until you're behind bars. For more on this story and others like it, please take a second, click this link and subscribe to my YouTube.